Hello YouTube, Bill Griffith back again. Uh, today I'm going to do a recording of uh, Cloud Pack for Business Automation on the IBM Public Cloud. Uh, there is a template in IBM Cloud Schematics that will install it and I'm going to walk through how to do that. Couldn't find a quick and easy video that showed that so I thought I'd make one. So I'd be remiss uh, if I didn't mention the IBM Technology Zone. Uh, this is a good place to find a bunch of demos and canned sandboxes. So start there, but if you want to install it yourself on the IBM Public Cloud, uh, then that's what I'm going to show now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is log into the IBM uh, Cloud and go to the catalog. And then uh, you can go search for automation. And that will pull up the Cloud Pack for Business Automation tile. And you see this runs on uh, OpenShift. You can choose your version here. And then it needs a cluster, so an OpenShift cluster. So I'm going to click that button to go into OpenShift cluster. Uh, choose the latest. Uh, I can use my Cloud Pack entitlement to reduce the cost of my OpenShift and I'm going to use a uh, classic cluster. Okay, so um, I'm going to use a single zone um, because if I use a multi-zone then I have to set up a storage array that is clustered and that's a little bit more complicated. So single zone makes this easier uh, and then it's also important to change the flavor here to match the specs. So as you see here uh, the specs, minimum specs is uh, 16 cores with 32 gigs of RAM across three nodes. So let's go match that. And uh, most of the cloud packs will have something like that. They'll have the specs in there in the dock. So you want to match that up. So 16 by 32. This looks sufficient. I will save. So I will create that. And so it's going to take. Uh, you know, a few minutes, uh, maybe uh, 30 minutes or so. All right, so my cluster is back up. It took uh, about 45 minutes. I waited until this ingress is healthy, as you see here. Uh, and so now let's go back to the uh, automation. So Cloud Pack for Automation. And this is the uh, schematics. Again, choose this. And now you see I have my cluster available so I can choose that and then um, I can create a project here let's just call it uh, CP4 auto project and then I have administrative permissions to run this script so I'm going to run it and this is going to run against the uh, uh, the public cloud and against that cluster and get things set up so that I can then uh, run things down here. And I'll show that. I'll put this in a resource group for myself. Tag it as well. So this will show up as a uh, schematics project. And then I can choose down here the, uh, the components that I want to turn on. So let's do the uh, ADP and the ADS. Uh, these are the new uh, decision process, uh, decision services and the new document processing, sort of like data cap, uh, but uses a lot of AI capabilities inside of it and OCR capabilities and then decision services, uh, sort of business friendly uh, rules engine. And then um, this is the business friendly workflow. And then I can do also the uh, uh, the business automation workflow as well as uh, for, for more advanced workflow and then the content management server as well as operation decision manager which is the um, the um, rules engine from my previous videos so once that's ready looks like that is complete and I'll say I have read the uh, agreements and then I will install it. And so that jumps me over here to the schematics. Uh, you see the breadcrumb up here and my job, which is a bunch of Terraform uh, details down here. And you'll see it progressing as it downloads the uh, 
uh, the the Docker containers, the containers that it will install, you know, GitHub, all that jazz, uh, the tarball here, and then it will install that uh, for me. And so I will return uh, when that's done. All right, so it looks like the workspace is complete. Looks like it took about 10 minutes. Let's see here. Uh, you see down here, you can scroll down and see. Yeah, so it took about uh, 15 minutes, 13 minutes or so. So now let's go check out our cluster. So I go back here and I go into my cluster, uh, open shift clusters. And now I can drill into that cluster and then I will open the OpenShift web console and accept the pop-up blocker. Now I'm into my OpenShift cluster. I can go to my project that I just created here, which is project CP for auto. And you'll see some of the pods and uh, some of the stuff that's going on. So I'm not sure if all the containers are actually fully complete yet. Yeah, it looks like it's doing some stuff here, but um, the project is there, and uh, I believe the uh, operators are there also. You see the uh, Cloud Pack uh, for Automation um, operators, right, three minutes ago, etc. And then I will go to my workloads and my config maps, and there will be something in here called access information. As soon as that is available, that will give me the login credentials and the, um, the URLs to get into my uh, business automation studio and uh, the other uh, user interfaces like ODM and things like that. So I'll show that as soon as uh, all of these uh, containers uh, come up. Okay, so uh, about four or five hours later, a lot of these uh, pods and the operator appears to be uh, complete. <clears throat> Still a few pods here uh, that are running, uh, but if I go into my config maps, I will see my access info right here. And in here, I have my URL. Let me scroll down here. Uh, and I will go to the business uh, studio. Here it is. And I will copy this URL and try to go into the business automation studio. So it's got a self signed certificate. So I'm going to accept that. Except it must be calling in some authentication behind the scenes. So I'll keep accepting all of these uh, self signed certificates. And now it is the cloud pack for automation. So now I need to go back over here and get the, um, the credentials. And voila, I am into Cloud Pack for automation. Here are some applications. And so if I want to look at the uh, Operation Decision Manager console, I can grab this URL, copy that, and add a new window here and paste. And now I'm in ODM Decision Console. So in here I can uh, create uh, rule projects, decision services, uh, etc. So um, loan origination, loan validation service, sorry. Uh, here's some existing uh, sample project uh, that you can uh, work with and you'll see there's some uh, uh, base rules and things of that nature, validation rules. Let me see if there's any of them in here. The bo uh, borrower, uh, test simulations, uh, etc. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful.